The original tree, the parent tree, went into a state of decline several years ago. And by the summer of 2016, it was clear that it was just a matter of time. So going into the winter of uh, you know, fall, into winter 2016, it was clear the tree was dead. Um, I was interested in collecting acorns so I could include one offspring in Union County College's historic tree grove. In April of 2017, that's when it was dug from the college's tree grove and transplanted here. So the tree's been here now a year and a few weeks. I haven't been here since November. Uh, the, the tree had just gone into dormancy at that point and it looked just fine. And uh, I'm here today to take a look at it again and just to see how it's doing. And one way you get an indication of how a tree is doing is just with your fingernail, you scratch the bark a little bit and it should look nice and green underneath. And that's what we have right here. The buds are just barely starting to swell. But by all accounts, as much as you can tell at this point in the season, everything looks good. Just um, hopeful, wishful um, that this tree does well because, you know, I plant a lot of trees and if I plant a white oak and the white oak dies, there's always another white oak that can replace it. But this tree has a history. This is kind of one of a kind. So um, you just hope Murphy's Law doesn't come into play here where, you know, the one tree that you want to do best doesn't do so. But I don't have that feeling right now and the tree looks like it's perfectly healthy.